Good morning, teacher and friends. I am Chang Xingyi, and my group member have Shani, Shian, and Posi. Today, we are going to present about population of Malaysia, Singapore, and Indonesia. We doing a research in internet. First, is population of Malaysia. This is the data collection from 2018 to 2022. The population of Malaysia is around 32 millions to 33 millions. Data organization method, frequency table. The frequency table is involved that population of Malaysia frequency midpoint, lower boundary, upper boundary, and cumulative frequency. I will add the class in the world before the first class and after the last class. The frequency of the first class and last class is zero. The midpoint will help us to draw the frequency polygon, but the lower boundary and upper boundary will help us to draw the histogram. Graphical representation. This is the histogram and frequency polygon. The yellow word is means that the midpoint, and black color word is lower boundary and upper boundary. This is the Ogive graph. The Ogive graph is have first quarter, second quarter, and third quarter. Data analysis, measure of central tendencies. We will find the mean. The formula of mean is total f x divided by total f. It is thirty three point one millions. The means means that the average from two thousand eighteen to two thousand twenty two of population of Malaysia. Measure of dispersion. We will find the range, variance, and standard deviation. The range is midpoint of higher class minus midpoint of lower class. It is one point five millions. The range is means that the difference between the higher population of Malaysia and lower population of Malaysia. The variance is zero point three four, and the standard deviation is square root of variance. It is zero point five eight three one millions. We can of observe that. The dispersion of population of Malaysia is so consistent. It is because the standard deviation quite small. Data analysis, measure of dispersion. We will find the interquartile range. The first quartile is thirty two point six millions. Second quartile is thirty three point two five millions, and third quartile is. Thirty-three point five five million, and the interquartile range is third quarter minus first quarter. It is zero point five five million. The second one is the population of Singapore. Data collection. Data collection is from year two thousand eighteen to two thousand twenty-two. The right hand side is the population of Singapore in this five year. Frequency table. Frequency table have population of Singapore in millions. Frequency midpoint, lower boundary, upper boundary, and the cumulative frequency. Then this is the histogram and frequency polygon. Actually, we the way that we do the population of Singapore is same as the ways that do population of Malaysia, although the data is different. So this is the Ogive graph. After that, we will find the mean. Mean is use the sum of x x divided by sum of frequency. So the mean is equal to five point nine million. Then we also will find the range, variance, and standard deviation. Range is use the midpoint of higher class minus the midpoint of lower class. So the range is equal to zero point one five. Then the variance is use the sum of f x square. Divided by sum of frequency minus the mean square, so the answer is zero point zero zero four. Standard deviation is used the variance to square root, so we will square root the zero point zero zero four. Then we will get the answer is zero point zero six three. At the last, 
we will find the inner quarter range. From the object graph, first we need to find the first quarter and the third quarter. So from the object graph, we can find the first quarter is equal to 5.858. Then the third quarter is equal to 5.940. So in the quarter range is used the third quarter to minus the first quarter. So it is 5.940 minus 5.858 so the answer is 0.082 now we want to talk about population of indonesia population of indonesia from 2018 until 2022 is around 267 million until 276 million Data organization method Frequency table Content inside this frequency table have Population of Indonesia in millions Frequency, midpoint, lower boundary, upper boundary and cumulative frequency We need to add two frequency before the first class interval and the last class interval frequency with zero frequency now we want to talk about graphical representation histogram and frequency polygon inside this graph we draw the x-axis with populations of indonesia in millions and Y axis with frequency in years. Or give graph. We draw the X axis with population of Indonesia in million and cumulative frequency of Y axis. Inside this or give graph, we need to draw interquartal range, which is first quarter, second quarter, and third quarter. Theta analysis measure of central tendencies. The sum of the frequency is 5. The sum of the fx is 1355. The sum of x fx square is 1238913. First, we want to find the mean. Formula of the mean is sum of x, fx divided by sum of f. Mean we get 271 million. Variance. The formula of variance is sum of the fx square divided by sum of the f minus mean square. We get the variance is 174341.6 million. Standard deviation is square root of variance. We get 417.542. Range is the highest midpoint minus the lower mid midpoint. We find the range is 10 million. Now we talk about the interquartile range. We find the first quarter with the formula 1 over 4 times 5 equals to 1.25 years. But we want to know the millions population of Indonesia. So we want to draw Draw the line from the graph to find the million. First quarter will find 268 million. The second quarter is 1 over 2 times 5. We find the second quarter which is 270.5 million. Third quarter is 3 over 4 times 5, we find 273.5 million. In the quarter range is quarter 3 minus first quarter, we find 
1.5 million. This is the table that shows the overall percentage of three countries from 2018 to 2022. I used the formula of the population, the country on that year, divided by the total population of three countries and times 100%, and we can get the data. The next is the growth rate. The formula of the growth rate is the present of the population minus the past of population and divided by the past of population and times 100%. From the calculation, we can see that the Malaysia have the highest growth rate compared to the other two countries, although it is not the highest population among these three countries. The highest population among these three countries is Indonesia, while the lowest population country is Singapore. The reason of why Indonesia have highest population among these three countries is Indonesia have large land area which is 1811570 km square. Malaysia have moderate population among these three countries, which is Malaysia have 330803 km square land area. However, the reason of why Singapore have lowest population among these three countries is Singapore have small land area which is 710 km square. Malaysia have the highest growth rate which is 1.09% compared to the other two countries which is Singapore 0.58% and Indonesia 0.64%. As a conclusion, the population of present is high compared to the past because the advance of technology caused a gradual increase in average human longevity due to widespread improvement in public health, nutrition, personal hygiene, and medicine. At the past, the medical equipment is not so modern compared to present and also have not suitable medicine to treat the patient. So this causes many people death from the illness. But nowadays, it's not same compared to the past. The medical equipment is modern and have vaccination to protect some diseases.